Hello, my name is Shar and I am an animal care professional here at Assiniboine Park and Zoo and I am one of the caretakers of our wolf pack. Wolves in human care do still act as a pack. They do still follow you know, a similar structure to what they would have in the wild. In our wolf pack we have Gambit who we refer to as the dominant male and then his next in line would be our beta whose name is Bear. And those two kind of tussle it out quite often. Bear is constantly checking to see if Gambit is not feeling it that day and if Bear could be in charge instead of Gambit. Then from there we have two lower ranking wolves. So we have Slate and Onyx. Onyx is our only female, so she's living in there with her four brothers. Slate, he is just a quiet, chill boy. He's often off on his own, doing his own thing. And then we have Jack everyone's favorite so he is our Omega he's kind of the jokester of the group and his whole job within the wolf pack is to alleviate tension and keep everything happy-go-lucky so if Bear and Gambit for example are having having a day where they're having a lot of disagreements um, Jack will get right in there in the middle and try to chill everyone out and get them to think about other things and you know maybe he'll start chasing Onyx and get their attention diverted to that when I think of Gambit, I always think of kind of like this like reckless and like curious individual. He's got to know what's going on with everybody at all times. You, you really can't do anything without Gambit knowing what's going on. So if we have the vet come down and, you know, they're doing an exam on one of them, he needs to know. He has to be able to see what's going on. He gets very upset if he doesn't know what's going on. So he's definitely like the caretaker, the outspoken one, the brave one. Like I've said with Slate before, he is just so calm. He's just always just doing his own thing, hanging out. He'll come over, he'll hang out with Enrichment, he'll visit the keepers, but he's just off doing his own thing. He doesn't like the dramas of the wolf pack. Jack is definitely our silliest. He's our most puppy-like. He will play with Enrichment. He will find a stick and he will think it's the funniest thing to play with. He's constantly pestering his brothers and Onyx, his sister. Um, it's really funny, he will beg for food, even though he has lots of opportunity to get food, he would prefer the other pack members give him food, which is a really funny trait to see. And sometimes it'll work, sometimes he'll pester them enough that they just drop what they have and they go and get another piece. Onyx is, she's just a sweetheart. I mean, she definitely, you can tell she lives with boys. <laughs> so, but in general, she, she's just a very gentle, gentle wolf and she's always concerned about where Jack is and what's Jack doing and then Bear is also a very sweet yet confident wolf you know he's always behind Gambit he wants to be doing what Gambit's doing um, so he's kind of nosy if I'm being honest he's a little nosy but he can also be quite shy when there's something new going on around the exhibit he's usually one of the ones that's less curious more afraid he'll kind of hang back make sure that Gambit says it's safe and it's all good Wolves have such an intricate pack dynamic. So getting to see firsthand how the pack dynamic will fluctuate day to day, depending on what's going on and how you know certain enrichment items will really bring that out. I think that's really cool because they are a very smart animal that we're lucky to have here in North America. And I think that you know they're one of those animals that needs to be really appreciated. And just getting to see them every day doing what they do is just, I'm lucky. <laughs>